Open world games are a dime a dozen these days, and the popularity of the genre doesn't seem to be waning anytime soon. Fans of the genre have a lot to look forward to in 2022 and beyond, and here are 15 open world games that you should keep an eye out for. Please note, due to the sheer number of games fitting into this category, there are bound to be many major games missing from this list. So with that out of the way, let's begin. Elden Ring. The latest in From Software's offerings of Souls games will see players venturing across the perilous world of the lands between. Set in a vast open world, which is a first for the series, Elden Ring will feature horse riding, summoning NPCs to fight alongside you, optional dungeons and quest lines, new builds to try out, and so much more. Given the gameplay showcased in the recent beta, Elden Ring is already set to be a massive hit from the get-go. After a long and arduous journey of delays and countless rumors, Elden Ring will finally be releasing on February 25th, 2022 for all major platforms. Horizon Forbidden West The post-post-apocalyptic world of Horizon Zero Dawn floored players with its lush and dense environments, brimming with detail, personality, and of course, the plethora of deadly machines. Given that game's massive success and the somewhat cliffhanger ending had fans clamoring for a sequel, which developer Guerrilla Games is currently hard at work on. Taking place in the Forbidden West, Players will once again be reprising the role of Aloy as she tries to stop the Hades corruption once again. Players get to have access to plenty of new tools, such as the lightning-infused spear for close-range combat and the paraglider, which should help in defeating the deadly troubles that await in the Forbidden West. It releases for both PS4 and PS5 on February 18th, 2022. Stalker 2 – Heart of Chernobyl GSC Game World's Stalker 2 Heart of Chernobyl is yet another open-world game that fans of the franchise have been looking forward to for the longest of times. Set in the radiation-infested exclusion zone, players will get to fight deadly mutants and other human enemies using a ton of exquisite weaponry. Developed using Unreal Engine 5, Stalker 2 looks to be a great visual showcase for the power of current-gen hardware. It'll be released for PC and Xbox Series consoles on December 8, 2022. Starfield Starfield is Bethesda Game Studios' latest game, and there's perhaps no better way to describe it better than a role-playing game but set in space. Of course, this vague explanation can be attributed to the lack of proper gameplay information available as of now, although if the developer's track record is anything to go by, it would most likely turn out to be a grand adventure, filled to the brim with interesting and varied content. Starfield also marks the start of a new era for Bethesda releases. As this is the first Xbox exclusive release from ZeniMax Media following the Microsoft acquisition, it'll be released for Xbox Series X and S and PC on November 11th, 2022. Forspoken Luminous Productions' upcoming Forspoken takes place in the mystical land of Athia, where players assume the role of Frey Holland as she tries to uncover what brought her here in the first place, and ultimately find a way back home. Gameplay is built around traversal and using spellcasts to defeat enemies, thanks to a sentient bracelet giving her these extraordinary abilities. Forspoken is looking to be one of the more promising new IPs of 2022. It releases for PS5 and PC on May 24th, 2022. Pokemon Legends Arceus Technically not a fully open world, but rather a series of large open levels, Pokemon Legends Arceus represents a big departure from the traditional games of the franchise. Set in the Sinnoh region, players will get to roam these large spaces freely in search of catching the myriad Pokemon present in the game. Initial impressions for the game haven't been the strongest, with criticisms aimed at subpar visuals, but we are hoping that Game Freak manages to spin Pokemon's long stagnant formula for the better. Pokemon Legends Arceus releases for the Switch on January 28th, 2022. The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel 2017's The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is single-handedly responsible for the paradigm shift in how open-world games of recent memory have refocused their attempts on cutting the bloat and putting the sense of exploration and discovery at the forefront once again. 
Given how successful of a game it was, it's no surprise that the developer is hard at work on a sequel, which seems to be building upon the excellent foundations established in the original, from the time reversal mechanics to the floating islands seen in the trailer to the ability to pass through concrete surfaces. There's no shortage of innovative mechanics that should most likely shake the gameplay enough to feel refreshing once again. The sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild releases sometime in 2022 for Switch. Atomic Heart Set in an alternate universe Soviet Union, Atomic Heart sees players taking the role of a special KGB agent. On a mission to investigate a catastrophic event at a military facility, players get to face a number of weird enemies, from the unicycle riding big head Teletubby to the laser shooting robots to fierce demons and so much more, using equally creative weaponry. Atomic Heart is looking to be an experience like no other. It's been in development for a long time now and will be releasing in the near future for all major consoles as well as PC. Gotham Knights WB Games Montreal's Gotham Knights is apparently set after the death of Batman. And when his biggest enemies rise to the occasion and cause terror in the city of Gotham, Nightwing, Batgirl, Robin, and Red Hood collectively rise to answer the call of duty. Combat is the same combo-heavy affair as it was in the Arkham games. Although each character plays differently from the other, Gotham Knights is built as a co-op experience for two players, although it can be played solo as well. It releases for all major console platforms and PC sometime in 2022. Saints Row Developed by Volition, this reboot of Saints Row takes players to the sunny cityscapes of Santo Leso, a place where crime thrives and a constant struggle for power takes place between the city's many factions. Saints Row will seemingly once again be returning to its roots, embracing its over-the-top action, all while being a bit more grounded in scope than, say, Saints Row 4. Players will be carrying out all sorts of weird missions and causing havoc on the streets when the game releases on August 23rd, 2022 for all major console platforms and PC. State of Decay 3 While not a lot is known about State of Decay 3 at this point, the trailer seems to indicate that the sequel will most likely veer towards the survival horror territory more than before. Players can expect to have a much more grounded experience, with even nastier enemies to fight in a much more involving resource management system. State of Decay 3 will be released for Xbox Series X and S and PC sometime in the future. Sonic Frontiers Announced during last year's The Game Awards, Sonic Frontiers will see the blue blur blazing through the vast expanses of Starfall Islands. Players will have access to a bunch of different biomes, and while gameplay details remain scant for now, it seems that levels will take on the form of landmarks to scale, or obstacle courses to cross as of now. More information for the game will be dropping soon as it reaches its imminent release window of Q4 2022 for PC and consoles. The Day Before Developer Fantastic's MMO The Day Before can best be described as a mixture of The Last of Us and The Division, set against the backdrop of a post-apocalypse. Players get to have a ton of different vehicles to drive, places to raid and interact with a bunch of players across their travels. The game looks gorgeous, and with intense survival mechanics and brutal gunplay, the day before is shaping up to be one of the biggest sensations of 2022. It doesn't have a firm release date at this point, but it's confirmed to be releasing for all current-gen consoles and PC. Hogwarts Legacy Hogwarts Legacy is all about players taking on the role of a custom-created freshman at Hogwarts. The open world consists of the Forbidden Forest as well as Hogsmeade Village, where players can take a bunch of different quests and discover secrets, ride magical beasts, and so much more. A good video game adaptation of Harry Potter is long overdue at this point in time, and we sincerely hope that Avalanche Software changes things for the better. Hogwarts Legacy releases for PC and consoles sometime in 2022. Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League Rocksteady Games of Batman Arkham series fame is back again with Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League, an open-world adventure set in Metropolis which sees the most famous band of DC's anti-heroes, the Suicide Squad, teaming up to take down the Justice League, which has been brainwashed by Brainiac. Accounting for both solo and co-op play, Suicide Squad's gameplay seems to be built on the foundation of the Batman Arkham games, 
although fans can expect some major differences, particularly in regards to Deadshot, who is primarily a ranged character. It's a pretty promising game with a lot of potential, and it releases sometime this year for current-gen consoles and PC. And with that, we reached the end of the video. Have anything to say? Let us know in the comments below. Also, we upload new videos every single day on Gaming Bolt, so please consider subscribing as it really helps us out. Thanks for watching.